Hey everybody, this is Brooke. I thought I'd make a video about tying your tractor down because I've done it about seven ways from Sunday and every time I tie my tractor down it's a different way. But I uh, thought I'd post a video and I know there's, I'm sure there's a right answer. I just don't know what the right answer is. But um, my state, I'll start off with my state requires a four point tie down, which is a state of Arkansas. So you're supposed to have four separate tie downs uh, on your tractor so you can't have two or three uh, the law says it's supposed to be four anyway so <laughs> I've done it all different ways everybody knows on these little compact tractors there's no easy way uh, to tie them down um, I've had some people say they run a chain through this hole right here problem is you gotta have a small bar to push the chain through which I've done and I've chained it from the tie down or from the state pocket, I'm sorry, through the bucket and through the other side. And it works, but there's a couple issues. One, it's technically it's only one tie down because it's not two separate chains. Uh, two, um, I noticed that a couple times I hold it, the chain was actually loose, even with a binder, because the bucket settles and the hydraulics settle a little bit while it's going down the road. So that was one issue, which is dangerous. The other one is, you know, in my trailer, you know, my tractor is putting dents in the deck here. Uh, so the other issue is, or the other thing I came up with is I put these hooks on the front here. And each one of these hooks is a 5,000 pound, it's over 5,000 pounds uh, for that hook. And you get different ones. Uh, so I went through the frame here. I'm a little shaky here but i went through the frame here and put these d-ring d-rings on there and tow it that way and which um seems to work out pretty good so that was one way on the front and then on the back uh, i did the same thing i had a I had a d-ring i don't know what this is called but this extension bar uh, i had a d-ring here and i tied it down and that seemed to be pretty good but if you run a chain from there th through the d-ring over here again it's only one tie down i guess you could do two chains to it um so there's multiple different ways i don't think i've tied this tractor down the same way twice in a row but here recently number one this com this tractor is a ct2035 they're about 3300 pounds without any implements but never ever ever haul my tractor without an implement because I have to have whatever implements whenever I go uh, to my other property to do work. I have whatever implement I need for that particular job or a couple of different ones. I found these Mighty, um, it's called Mighty, M-Y-T-E-E, -M -M -E -E, and they haul 3,330 pounds, 33 pounds per tie down. And this is the first time I've done this, is the tire straps. I've got the nine foot ones. I only did the front. This is the first time I used them. It seemed like they worked great, but you know, is it safe for a tractor? Is it legal for a tractor? That I don't know. I mean, they say it hauls full size vehicles. Um, I have the nine foot ones so I can put them on the rear tires, but I chose not to do it this time. And you guys are probably going to scream at me when you see the video, but <laughs> I put it around the, uh, uh, the, uh, lower links on both sides which i don't know they seem like they're pretty tough as if it's tough enough to do things maybe it's tough enough you guys tell me of course hide it down here so one thing i hate 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 i love this trailer for the most part it's got some really nice features slide out ramps all led 5200 pound axles you know so it's a really good it's got a huge six inch i-beam uh, that goes down the whole trailer not just on the tongue so i really like that i think it's called a bulldog uh, hitch on it um, single finger spin heavy duty crank but this right here this i hate i love to put my chain my hook on the top of the stake pocket and then let the chain come down and around that way if your load the chain does come loose or your load shifts even if this is loose your hook won't come off the stake pocket um, which I discovered with this tractor is there's not enough space here to get the hook up and over this 
which I didn't know when I ordered this trailer. So yeah, it is coming on the bottom, which to me, it's kind of a big no-no, but I don't know any other way to do it in this particular case. And you start getting older, uh, you know, it gets harder and harder to climb, take big steps. Any of you that are older, you know that that's a big step for you. And that's why I opted to get a trailer with the side steps on it. But you can clearly see it's got its pros and cons. Um, you really don't want anything coming off your, your trailer. So you guys tell me. The hooks, the D-rings, chain through here, wheel straps, how do you tie it down in the back? <laughs> you look in the back of my truck and, you know, I got I got come along, so I've got binders, I've got chains. You probably, like me, you got stuff everywhere and you don't even know maybe what the best option is. Um, so that's where I'm at with everything. Also, I'm going to make another video. The um, reason I'm hauling it now is I had front remotes added which I will make a video on that later which but that's kind of a sneak peek and I also added four rear remotes and a hydraulic type top link which if you look at this for the size of a tractor this hydraulic is literally double in diameter of the ones they recommend for this size tractor but if you're doing some plowing or uh, trying to drag some heavy rock. I've heard people say that they've bent there. So, you know, you see them all day long on Google for $200, $235, somewhere in that range, page after page of them. This one here was 400 bucks. It's supposed to be real heavy duty. So hopefully it doesn't bend. I don't know. We'll find out what happens. But, uh, and I did order, um, look at that. That guy pulled this thing up on the trailer for me and he didn't even tell me that they they left me my old top link that thing could have fallen off and hit killed somebody he should have said something to me i didn't know that they gave it back to me uh that's why you hey good good example of why you should inspect your load a little bit closer before you just pull away and trust somebody else to do anything especially when it comes to safety i should have known better than that anyway uh that's all i got thanks